The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm going to be showcasing new and upcoming Nintendo Switch games that I have been playing. You know, the Nintendo Switch is turning two years old soon, early next month, and you know, I can't believe how many games are coming out every week. And there's, there's a ton of titles, there's a ton of inexpensive classic titles, and you know, I just chose a couple that are currently available. One is going to be upcoming this next week. Let's check them out. Alright, here we go. This is Gigantic Army. This is actually an upcoming game coming out February 21st. It's nine bucks on the eShop, and this is just classic mech side-scrolling action arcade. I love this game. I It's just one of those things where, you know, you take a classic like shooter and you add like a mech to it, and it just becomes awesome, you know. If I saw this in like an arcade back in the day, I'd be like, this is awesome. So you can choose your starting weapon. You know, you're, you're pretty much piloting a mech with a shield and you have, you know, a booster and it's great. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do cluster. And it's got some simple controls. We'll jump right into this. I just think Nintendo Switch, this is pretty much the strength of the library. There's just a ton of these games coming out. I can't keep up personally. And you know, this caters, caters I think, to a 16-bit audience, you know, especially Super Nintendo. It definitely, definitely has that Super Nintendo look. It's got great, great gameplay. Bosses are huge. I don't know how long it is. You know, I'm just showing the first look here, but I love it. I love it that, you know, it's got a, you've got special weapons. You can customize your mech. Yeah, it's got mines. Don't, don't land on the mines. <laughs> But yeah, I just, I love these types of games. You know, these are the types of games I think that are the strength of the Nintendo Switch library. You know, there's pick up and play games, you know, less than 10 bucks. This was a no brainer for me. Here's another game that came out on the Nintendo Switch and it's Onikin. And this is just a great fit for the Nintendo Switch because it's got the look of a Nintendo game, classic Nintendo game. And the best way to describe this game is if you mix Ninja Gaiden with kind of the look of Contra. And so it, it's difficult like Ninja Gaiden. There's tons of bosses. There's a boss rush mode. Pretty difficult game. This is definitely for uh, someone who's looking for a challenge. You, it does save your progress. So you can go back and play stages that you beat. And so I really like this game. I you know was searching the eShop and saw this and you know purchased it it's less than 10 bucks i think it's on sale for eight bucks right now and i just like these types of games i think it's a good fit for nintendo switch and you know so it's a side scrolling action game you know you have you can get grenades so you can get power-ups you can get different abilities I really like the graphics and the enemies. There's a lot of varied enemies. Pretty challenging game too. So, you know, if, if you're looking for something a little bit more difficult. It's got varied levels. I really liked it. Uh, from what I played so far, I like what I played. And, uh, you know, pretty tough. All right, here's one of the bosses and, you know, probably gonna <laughs> not get past this one but wanted to show it to you it's got you know it definitely has that like look of contra you know but it plays like ninja guide so come check this out it's already released and it's less than 10 bucks i think this is a good game all right this is odalis the dark call done by the same makers as onakin and it has the same look it's a classic nintendo entertainment system look and i really like this game it kind of has a castlevania vibe 
I really enjoy these types of games, especially going out of their way to make it look like a classic Nintendo game. This is a hard game. It's kind of a puzzle action platform. And I haven't played much of it, but what I've played so far, I really enjoy. And so it's pretty tough and there's hidden secrets in each level. The, uh, the first stage is fairly large and I really, again, like the look of this game. And so you got, you know, kind of your classic, you know, warrior style hero and at the game, you know, you got different moves. You can get uh, power ups You can get a classic, you know, Castlevania side side weapon, you know, the axe is the first thing you get. You sometimes have to move blocks to get to hidden areas. You can reach up on wedges, Very varied enemies. I think the graphics of this game look a little bit better than Onikin, and I don't know, you know, of the games I'm showing today, this game I played quite a bit. I actually was almost late for an appointment because I downloaded this game off the eShop. Another game that is ten dollars or less, and I <laughs> almost got in trouble because I was needing to go to an appointment and I was playing this game. And that that shows you a good game. It's like oh, I just I gotta get a little bit farther. I gotta play play a little bit more. And so this is a game. You know, uh, I got to the end of the first boss and pretty tough, pretty challenging game. Definitely want to play this one more. I like the branching paths of this game. You know, I didn't, at, at first I didn't know I could come over here and then I didn't know I could break these. And then I came over here and, and there's, you know, just these puzzle mechanics. And so definitely, uh, definitely a game I want to play more of, you know, and check out. And then I have to use this, you know, to, to find hidden secrets. All right. This is the surprise recommendation tetris 99 and this is free for nintendo online subscribers and so this is this is just awesome i i really like this this is taking classic tetris and making it fun this is kind of a battle royale style game you pretty much are competing against 98 other online opponents you know the price is right free and so it's it's one of these games where you know i was playing this yesterday and just kept playing it and so Essentially, you make lines and you can send your, uh, once you complete lines, you send garbage to your opponents. And so it can, it's fast and frantic. And so the goal is to just make as many lines as you can as fast as possible. Easy to play, difficult to master, just like Tetris always has been. And so I really enjoy this version of Tetris. And so I liked it a lot more than I thought. I'm playing an online match right now. Uh, this is tough, 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 to, tough to play, and so you know you can choose you can choose your opponent that you send your garbage blocks to, you want, you know, and so there's some strategy there definitely, definitely um, a game for Tetris masters. You know, if you're looking for a new Tetris fix, this is the game, and so yes, I'm really happy to to see these types of fresh releases of a classic puzzle game coming out still. And I really think that this is a good fit for the Nintendo Switch. And yeah, looking forward to playing this a lot more and hopefully getting better. <laughs>
please like, subscribe, and comment on my channel. It helps me out so much as I march towards 80,000 subs. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock. Thank you, and you take care.